And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Oh, eh? Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, hype, hey. hype, hype. We're bringing the world together. It's World Peace Night, guys. We're crossing streams. We're crossing <laughs> swords. And we're playing games with the twitch.tv slash playing board games, guys. Give it up. We are so honored to have them joining us tonight, guys. And not only are they here as Canadians and awesome people and awesome board game streamers, but they're here to celebrate the 75th anniversary, or 75th, I guess, episode <laughs> of Zombicide! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> horn, horn, horn. Lyle, it's been 75 episodes of Zombicide. I know. It's, it's sort of insane. That's sort of annoying. Insanity. Insane. <laughs> We're still playing this game. We are still driving this game into people's Everyone, heads. Everyone, we're still playing this game. We refuse to give up on this game, and we'll play every <laughs> single mission until we win. <laughs> but not to not to get too hyped about that, because we are hyped, and thank you so much for the support over all those episodes and all that good stuff. But the playing board games guys are here. What's going on, Justin? What's going on, Mike? You know, I'm just excited to just either kill or be killed by zombies. Yeah. So, you know, nice. Yeah. Either become also one like... or kill one. <laughs> <laughs> I also like that uh, Justin is on the left and Mike is on the right. Yeah, uh, yes. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, earlier, How do I look at you in this way? Earlier, uh, Justin, yeah, but before nice. the stream started, Lyle, before you oh, hopped in, uh, he caught my. Yeah. Uh, I, I called it right. What was it? R- right ride. Ride of Mike? side. Oh, ride side. Ride side. <laughs> the ride side. <laughs> I was like, damn it, Lyle would have nailed me on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> so that just showed you guys how cl- attention to detail that these guys pay to their stream. But yeah, yeah. we, we want to introduce them. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're our awesome buddies over at twitch.tv slash playing board games, and we are going to be playing Extra Mission C6 Ambush with these guys. Um, but we want to talk a little bit about what's up um, with twitch.tv slash playing board games. Um, but before that, before that, we got to do a little thing here. We're going we're gonna to do a little interview-y type thing. But Lyle, how you doing, buddy? You good? I'm doing good. You got through the weekend. I only, I only, uh, I only worked a nine-hour day today, so I'm, oh, that's I'm, good. I'm going in the right direction. A plus, A plus. And what are you drinking Thank today you. to celebrate our 75th anniversary of the hype? All right. Well, I'm drinking a. Can you see this? It's a Wise Acre Tiny Bomb, uh, American Pilsner uh, from the Wise Acre Brewery in Memphis, Tennessee. Nice. <laughs> Oak tannins and uh, <laughs> yeah, tannins to the face. Wormy yeah. goodness. <laughs> well, I'll jump past me real quick. I'm drinking a Duvel straight from Canada in honor of you guys cool. and uh, 75th, Good. a giant uh, Canadian uh, Duvel. Here. It's actually Belgian. Belgian's kind of French, and French took over Canada, and Canada own or French owned Canada. Yeah, well, a lot of our a lot of our east side is very French, so it, it works. It works. Okay, cool. Let it fly. Fact, there's, Let a the... near... there's a French neighborhood here. There's a French neighborhood here too. Yeah, right near my house, yeah. <laughs> You're right near Justin's house. There you go. They're you very guys, French. Though. Do you guys naturally speak French? No in, no. in Alberta, it's not that common. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought all Canadians spoke French. Yeah, I thought you spoke you know? somewhat. <laughs> I can say, fenetra is how you say window. I can do that much. That's about the extent of it. Yeah. Damn. That I was just impressive, got, though. I really yeah. like that. I, I, I was actually romanticized right there. I actually kind of got <laughs> a little flush. That's, that's, what, that's what the French language does. I know. Oh, my God. Impressive. Well, I want you guys... Well, first, let's introduce you guys. Um, who who are you? What do you do? <laughs> I'm, I'm Justin. I play board games on the internet. So, you know, I'm, I'm like the Canadian version of you. You're so, so cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're cool, too. It's great. You're like the coolest guy I know. <laughs> Damn, he's cool, Lyle. Hey, what about so you, Mike? Cool, Are you dude. cool? I'm pretty cool, I think. Yeah. You know, you're I pretty know. much the Canadian version of him. Yeah. <laughs> because look at your lighting. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> true. Listen, listen, we game in the dark, dude. <laughs> well, you're Mike. It's you're... like a, it's eternal night here, so you that's know. true. <laughs> What time does it get dark in Canada there now? It's like 4.30 oh, it's here. Like 4.30. Yeah, it's yeah, the same. Four, yeah. Oh, it's the same? Yeah, about 4.30. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that different, dude. <laughs> not that different. I figured north of the wall, it's like the sun comes down. It like kind of blocks like the shadow, like falls over. <laughs> north, yeah, north of the wall. The wall, yeah. it gets very what's it, cold. What's it like living with all the wildlings? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they just speak French, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How would you say you know nothing... I gotta look this up. 
Um, so as <laughs> as I look this up, because it's important, and I will stop the whole stream to figure this out. Uh, so I just want to ask you some questions about playing board games. I mean, I, we've we've hung out in your stream. I love hanging out in there. It's a great community. Good, friendly people been hanging out with you guys. You guys play a ton of different games. Um, if, if, if people haven't checked them out yet, we talk about them all the time. Our Canadian brothers over there are playing board games. Um, I just want to know, what, when did you guys get started with playing board games, and uh, how's streaming been going for you? It's, um, I've been playing board games for a long, long time, and we started streaming last year because we were like, we do this every every weekend, we might as well just put it on the internet. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, I never have, like, I, I, there's not much more that gives me more fun than playing a board game. And there's so many different yeah. kinds, and it's just, it's the best. It is the best. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. When, when yeah. did you start? Yeah. Um, start playing board games or streaming? Um, streaming. Uh, last June, June, June. 9th, because it's 69, so that's how we remember it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Wait, wait, so yeah. you guys have only been streaming for like a year? A little over a year? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I mean, yeah. quite a bit over a year, like a year and a half, right? Yeah, yeah. A year yeah. and a half, about, yeah. Wow, I, I thought you guys have been on just as long as we have. No, no, no. We, uh, we're you estimated like 2015. Yeah. You make it sound like we've been on forever. Well, like two we've and a half. I thought they were years. on just as long. Like, I mean, we're like two and a half. They're a year and a half. I thought you guys were on a lot longer than that. Wow. It seems like forever is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. That's freaking awesome. Well, when, when did you guys start playing board games? I mean, you guys have been playing board games for a long time, right? Big board long game. time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, long I've, time. I've always been playing board games. What, what got you? Justin, first, what got you into board games? Um, uh, this girl I was dating was in a church group. And nice. I was in the church group oh, nice. because I was nice. dating her, and you know, you know yeah. how it works yeah. when you're yeah. Yeah. with oh, yeah. someone. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and the the head counselor, <laughs> he played board games, and he he brought Bang one night to one of the meetups, and I was like, oh, oh. this this is really cool. I'm like, what else do you have? And then me and another me and James would always go there and play board games with him, and it was it was pretty cool. Man. And then he moved to like Tokyo, and I haven't seen him since. Damn. Oh, bang! Okay. Like, um, like the party game where you were in different rooms, and that was your first yeah. board game. That was like your first. Oh no, no, board no. Game? Uh, bang is the one where it's like a western shootout, and you sit around the a western table. Shootout. Oh, okay. And you can only shoot like certain people, and okay. you can get bigger guns to shoot farther. Yeah. Oh, I, I I'm confusing it. Well, I forget what game I'm confused. Like the bullet, like it comes in like a bullet case now. Yeah, it comes in a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And I'm also confusing it. I think with. Uh, Cash and guns. It's not. Mm, the same yes. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. But that was your first. That that was literally the first game that like you like board game you played. Yeah. Apart from like stuff like Candyland when I was like four. Dude, Candyland. But, yeah. Well, you know, you can't eat it. So what's the point of playing it, right? <laughs> and I've always been. I'm always told in chat that when you roll twos in that game, it's very awesome. So I should play yeah. more Candyland. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing that chat was already asking if I roll twos because you always roll twos. So I feel like you've already cursed me to only roll twos. Well, we're gonna find I, I out tonight. That that's not a good thing. Two, we're, are we're, twos bad in this game? Uh, they just happen a lot to us. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, they're not great. Yeah. Okay. Mean, they're not. They're not ones. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But they will happen to you, and it'll be sad. And we will yeah. make sure that everybody knows you did it. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, what got you into gaming? Uh, well, I, uh, when I was a kid, I played a lot of card games with my grandparents when I went over there, like crib and, yeah. you know. Did you play yeah. hand and foot? Uh, no, I don't know I that one. I still have actually. not found anybody else that plays hand and foot. I, I don't even know. What, that's what yeah, it sounds, dude. It sounded like a threat, but <laughs> you're like, did you play <laughs> hand and foot? <laughs> <laughs> you play, you play hand and foot? <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of got started with that and then, you know. Went into the traditional like Hasbro board games, you know, Monopoly and yeah, Risk sure, sure. and those, and then uh, just sort of kept growing from there. That's awesome. Yeah, Balderdash. Balderdash was always a good one. We played Balderdash in categories oh, as family. Yeah. yeah. So family gaming. Yeah, I'm very similar. Very similar. Family gaming. Lots of family gaming. My yeah. my family's always been into sort of doing the family game nights and stuff. So. Yeah. My grandma, man, she was crazy with the hand and foot and the and the pinochle. In, in, I got. I'm gonna look it up now. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> you guys don't know. Dude, I think you know what pinochle is, I've right? Never heard of this oh, before. No. I know what pinochle is. I know what pinochle is. You know yeah. what? Yeah, you know what bridge is. <laughs> yeah. Rummy. Yeah. I mean, she she yeah. loved those card games, man. So I, I feel you, Mike. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Well, that's awesome. Well, what what are the future plans? I mean, playing board games. You guys are streaming board games. Um, I wanted to mention that you can catch them on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 
at uh, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. That would be 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. Um, that's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings. Uh, we're always trying to host that's them 8.30 here. Central. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. We're going to confuse the shit. <laughs> let's, let's just cover it. Let's just cover Basically, it Basically, get on Twitch after 6.30 <laughs> at some point, and you will see at some these point. guys. And we'll be there. Yeah. And they'll be yeah. there. Um, but uh, what, what are your future plans uh, for playing board games? Like, what, what kind of uh, goals do you have set for yourselves? Like, what do you... I know you guys play lots of games. Um, you've been doing a lot of cool stuff like that. Uh, a lot of friends come in and join you guys in your living room that has a fan that does nothing. Uh, yeah. I love that fan, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fan like, he's, our, he's the number one fan, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you all, you guys also do a lot of Magic, uh, I noticed, games, too. If, yeah. if for all the Magic fans out there, you guys stream that really in a really cool way. I'm not a huge Magic guy, um, but I have yeah. watched. It's really cool. Uh, the competitions. Can you describe that a little bit more? Like what you do with the, yeah. the magic. So stream? we have a, it's in uh, two rooms in our, in, in my place. And we have people in this room commentating on the match and the people outside. It's like, as if they were in some sort of tournament and yeah. uh, it's cool, really fun. Dude. And the commentating awesome. on it is, is the best part. It's really, cause I'm not that good at playing magic, but I can talk about it. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's totally like watching either. poker. Yeah, yeah. It's totally like watching yeah. poker. It's great. It's great. I, it, it's like uh, should totally do something like that for Hearthstone. I know you guys are Hearthstone fans, so we should. Yeah, we want, Mike. Want, Mike's been actually been planning that for a while. Because, oh, I gotta get oh, on yeah. that. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wait till you meet KFC Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But can, like for the for the future for us, we just kind of want to keep doing more and getting bigger, and uh, we eventually want to travel to some conventions and uh, have play with the people that we've been meeting on Twitch and all that because like yeah yeah it's it's the most fun making friends with like you guys and people in chat and that's that's my next step i want to start traveling with this and meeting people oh definitely yeah, yeah. that's yeah, like the, the dream that's that, yeah. that's just awesome yeah hang out yeah. with you guys everyone in chat what's going on everyone in chat what are you guys drinking now look at chad's talking about rook god that game i have that actually over there <laughs> yeah, Rook's good too. <laughs> and uh yeah clue uh, everyone's talking about clue being their game that got them get get in there uh, mastermind mastermind's a good one too mastermind what's mastermind yeah uh where you have to like guess it's sequence the same as sequence i guess we oh, have okay. to guess the sequence yeah, yeah, yeah. okay it's like that sounds so familiar um, but I, I, can, I think i can see the cover in my mind <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if I'm if I'm right, the cover is like a man sitting at a desk, and there's like he's thinking, and there's like a woman over his shoulder looking down at him. It's right? really weird. Is he right? I, yeah, I might. Now we're googling it. <laughs> Mastermind I'm, I'm board googling. game. Here we go. Boom. What? Oh, the challenging game of logic and deduction. Code breaking. Oh yeah. Game. Okay. I was I was I was mostly right. I can't he's sitting. He's sitting at a desk going like he's this. See, and yeah. He's behind him. Where did you even find oh, that see, box? Oh, see, this is this isn't. This isn't the box that I'm used to. I'm I'm, I'm used to the uh, just the one with like the pieces on it. But this cover is hilarious. Yeah, this is the one with the plastic container, right? Like it's got the like it almost looks kind of like a uh, cribbage board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. almost looks like a cribbage board. Yeah. It has a little like yeah. flip over ca- cover for the actual correct answer. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I've never played this. Played this. That's fun. I can hear myself back. That's cool. All right. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Woo. That's awesome. Old school code names, Dragon Cat says. Um, and by the way, guys, uh, we do have yeah. the Revlo. I'll talk about that in a little bit after we get done talking with these guys. I see it talking in stream, so sorry about that. <laughs> I've got a, I've got Revlobot <laughs> trying to take over the stream, but we're still talking to these guys. So with all the board game hype been going on, Twitch has really been supporting tabletop streaming, um, the RPG world. Uh, you know, you guys have been doing it for a year and a half now. Uh, has it kind of blown your minds as much as ours? Like how much everyone is starting to do it all of a sudden? Yeah. As to like uh, a year ago? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, like, what? How do you? How do you feel about that? I think it's. I think it's great. Just the more people that are streaming board games, the more people that are going to see board games, the more people that are going to be like, "Oh, what's this board game?" Yeah. And like, yep. everyone's going to see all the streams. You'll notice also tonight. I'm a hand talker. I talk with my hands when I don't have a board game in front of me. So hand expect a lot of, hands. a lot of this. Um, <laughs> but I think it's great just for the future of what we want to do on Twitch, which is show people board games and entertain people while playing board games. Right. Mike, similar. Uh, yeah, very similar. Uh, I, I agree. Like the more people that start streaming and I mean, it's the Twitch model, right? The more people that are streaming a certain, in a certain category or a certain game, more right. people are going to be in there watching. Yeah. So the category gets bigger, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was talking to the Twitch guys about this too, that like, you now, whoa, almost knocked the whole uh, brew over that you, that you knew, you now see like the big game streamers, even streaming board games. Yeah. Yeah. 
like that's a little that's, crazy. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I feel like that's kind of crazy. Yeah, but I, I, no, I Although, think it's all good. I think it's all positive stuff. I still, I still think we, we all do it way better than anybody else. Damn, <laughs> damn, he's calling it out. <laughs> Go in, Shade. Hey man, got, got, got to set, got to set a bar, right? Got to set a bar. We got, yeah. we got the best comedians. We got, set, we got the best I mean, camp. Somebody has to set the bar, dude. You're the somebody best Canadians on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's, I haven't met any other Canadians. That. Yet, as you can tell, I get excited when we get to talk to Canada. Um, <laughs> like, it's freaking crazy. It's freaking crazy. But uh, speaking, yeah, so, I mean, like, awesome. You guys got an awesome community and that kind of thing. Is there anything you want to announce? Anything that uh, you want to say you, you plan on doing? Any games coming up you're really excited about? I see you guys started playing Seafall. Uh, yeah. You're going to stick. You're going to play all the way th- as far as you can go with that. Um, yeah. Open yeah, up all that's, the little code oh, yeah. boxes and... Um, I'm very excited. I just ordered uh, the other seven sins because we don't have like a, a die rolling game, yeah, or, like yeah. like with minis. Yeah. And uh, James was painting the minis today on stream, so uh, um, I'm oh, excited. Nice. I'm really cool. excited to play that one. Yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah. So the that's gonna be coming sick. soon. That's a cool mini or not game. You can head to cmon.com if you enjoy <laughs> Zombicide. You can also check out the other seven sins created by Eric Lang. Right? Did he do other seven sins? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Created yeah, by yeah, Eric did. Lang. <laughs> <laughs> very nice dude oh uh sea otter is asking you uh, what's the what's the canadian snack of choice today chris canadian snack of choice i ate all my snacks but thanks to these guys <laughs> the guys on the internet tell me to eat things and i eat them um i had uh what, I, I had the, the 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 things what were they the crispy cheesy things i just forgot the name oh the hawkins cheesy hawkins, hawkins cheesy. Cheesy. Hawkins yeah my, my yeah. ipad just crashed so i'm like hacking the gibson as i'm, I'm talking to you yeah the hawkins <laughs> cheesies were awesome and then I had the ruffles all dressed. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, you, had, what you, were... you, had the, you had that during our uh, two two year anniversary stream. Yeah, yeah. So we celebrated nice. two years with your nice. snacks, thanks to you guys. <laughs> yeah. And good, good. we're <laughs> celebrating the seventy fifth uh, stream with you guys. Well, the seventy fifth Zombicide stream with you guys. We do it right Perfect. with you guys. We do it right with you guys. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, got to got to treat Canada nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Treat them nice. <laughs> got to treat got to treat Canada nice. They treat us nice from up up north up north. Oh, which oh, by the Yemen's way, Yemen's got poutine for dinner. What? Oh, uh, what? I have this for us all to learn. We're all gonna learn something right here. Tu ne sais rien, Jon Snow. <laughs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> tu ne sais rien, Jon Snow. <laughs> That's good. You know nothing, Jon Snow. It's still I just. I feel like, like I'm in Quebec. I feel like I'm <laughs> yeah. in Quebec. Dude, that was that was awesome. It took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. No, great, good stuff. Yeah, those are the Canadian stacks tonight, guys. Um, hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, best community over there. So go check them out. Twitch.tv slash Playing Board Games. We're gonna be playing this game with them. Feel free to ask them anything. Um, they're very knowledgeable, very deep board games library. Uh, play all kinds of fun stuff. You guys just. Oh, I wanted to ask. How did your first twenty four hours stream go? Oh. oh, I can't really talk because I went to bed halfway through it. <laughs> oh, because you know, I know Mike was, I was there. Just, yeah, my, Mike stayed I the was whole there. time. Yeah, twenty five. Did you make, hours, it, did you make it the full the full twenty four? I did. Twenty five. Uh, yeah, there was a time. There was a mountain or the the daylight, daylight savings, savings time or whatever. Oh, okay. Damn. That's impressive. That's a long, yeah. long time, bro. Dude, that's but it was. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people were doing it. It was for a great cause. But like you were in a mall. <laughs> yes, we were in West, a mall. Yeah, West Edmonton Mall, the former biggest mall in the world. Um, <laughs> it's like it's our Edmonton, like it's 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 like it was like what Edmonton was known for, West Edmonton Mall. Yeah. Once like, it was the biggest mall in the world, not anymore. Yeah, um, I think it's still the biggest mall in North America, though. Oh, number yeah, one yeah. NA. No, <laughs> number one NA. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Number, number one, one NA. NA. All right, we're gonna throw it out there. Way to be more yeah, awesome. We were in, we were in the hockey rink, which is once again very Canadian. So yeah. <laughs> you were legit we are, in a hockey rink. Yeah, this story just keeps getting better. Yeah, wait, so, so wait, <laughs> you're in a hockey rink, rink in the middle yeah. of a mall yeah, yeah. playing yeah. board games yeah, yeah. for 25 hours straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I All love, right. I love every every part of that. <laughs> yeah, this this makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why my camera's so dark, but uh, the that's crazy. So you were doing that. There were a bunch of other people playing games. So you were part of like a giant games festival. Or something? Yeah, it was um for, for extra, extra life. Extra life. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a group here for Ye- called Yeg Extra Life, and they organize just a giant game day. Oh, here. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. That's super rad. 
That's super cool. No, that's awesome. And congratulations. Thank you for doing such an awesome thing for everyone. Uh, we hope to one day do our first extra live stream. We'll see. I don't know if we can do 25 hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, well, last year we did two 12-hour streams on the Saturday and Sunday, and that was yeah. that was very palatable. It was like it was two bite-sized streams. Yeah. That's that's impressive. It was two bite-sized streams. Yeah. yeah, that's impressive. But yeah. the most impressive thing. I mean, our our uh, yeah, our longest was six was six hours. Six hours. So yeah. I can't I can't even imagine <laughs> four times as long as that. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty shot. We were trying to be awesome and uh, be Irish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, but, uh, I, there is something awesome that Mike was doing and having while they were there. Uh, they were having orange Julius Lyle. Ooh, yeah, of course. That's a very yeah. mall mallish drink. I was like, <laughs> they still have orange Julius Lyle. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. Oh, dude. Orange Julius. I haven't had it in no. years. No. Orange Julius is freaking awesome. So I was impressed. They also have a it Panda is. Express in that mall. Did you get Panda Express? I actually didn't we did even not. know they have a Panda Express. I wish I got Panda Express. I love Panda Express. <laughs> There's one thing you had to make there. I was trying to get them to make Duck's Tard. And it's just like, I couldn't, what was it? I didn't have a, I didn't have any way to really communicate with you guys in the room I was in. I didn't have audio. That was the problem. I could only chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And okay. it was like, yeah. ah! I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, that was fun. <laughs> and everyone's hyping on the Orange <laughs> Julius. Or JXM, Orange Julius! <laughs> My Jay, I think I played that six-hour game with you guys. It was draining. <laughs> yeah. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. So that's great. You guys do awesome things from the community. You send out really cool mugs when people help you out and help build your stream. You do magic. You play board games. You even do uh, do cooking streams. Did I see you do cooking streams as well? Yeah, we made uh, poutine pizza and poutine tacos. Oh, yeah, oh, that's great. What? Uh, that's awesome. And we, do cre we also do creative streams. Uh, James uh, paints minis. Paints minis. Uh, and we also have done a puppet making stream, uh, which we've only done one of, but we want to do more. Seriously? Who does the puppet <laughs> making? I'm guessing Justin. Uh, uh, no, uh, no. It's uh, <laughs> Kaylin, Kaylin, Sarah, Sarah and Phaedra. Yeah. They all got do a that. crew. Yeah. We have, like, that is a, awesome. We have a whole pause, but Mike and I are going to do the fun stuff. We get to, like, you know, we get to put our faces on the poster and then everyone else yeah. just lifts us up yeah. no yeah yeah that's the way it's supposed yeah. to work that's like what yeah. lyle and i do we don't know anything yeah. so i do think yeah. we're bringing you on here so now that we yeah. go we have playing board games on we yeah. <laughs> i was like look 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 how legitimate we are yeah, look, look what's look, happening look. right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no that's that's awesome so you got to like you got to go so if you haven't hung out in the playing board games community you got to go do it go check them out awesome community over there and speaking of community a little hype to our community. Ian over on Facebook sent us some really cool minis. Speaking of painting minis, of his oh, Zombicide cool. minis. Oh. So I wanted to throw these cool. up tonight. Uh, some of the Season 3 stuff. He even has a cool police car. So sweet. Um, yeah, check that out. I really like how simple the, the zombies are. Just enough blood so you can still tell what the hell they are. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes... And he's even got the 3D like buildings and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I wanted to throw up one more of his cool minis. We haven't done this in a while, but we always we always uh, emphasize sending us your... If you guys painted a bunch of zombies, do it. Oh, that's the picture. It's already there. Nope. All right. Only one of them's working? But. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or I only downloaded the same one twice. All right, cool. <laughs> but that's one of the best ones, I think, uh, right there. So I just wanted to say thanks so much, Ian, for sending that our way. If you guys paint your minis... Um, like Mike was saying, send them our way. We'd love to show them off. Uh, you guys are very creative. Uh, we're, we want to emphasize that. Keep doing it. Keep having fun. Uh, we don't paint our minis that well. I use a Sharpie <laughs> as much as oh, I've yeah. done, which is really bad and, and super lame. Uh, but it looks yeah, good I, on I always think so. I always think like really good painted minis is just super impressive. Yeah. It's a lot of detail. Yeah. yeah. A lot it of says, detail work. Yemen says awesome painting. Yeah, it's good stuff, so. Uh, that's awesome. So I hope you guys have fun in chat. And uh, just so you know, speaking of uh, the community there, we're doing something new on the stream here. We're introducing Revlo.co uh, to our stream. Uh, Mike's pretty familiar with it. It's a evil bot, he said, that takes over my stream and then will take over <laughs> our lives. Um, basically, you guys can earn crits. And you can spend those crits. We're finding ways to do more giveaways um, and get you guys more involved in the stream. Um, if you go down to the bottom of our description on the chat down there, you can see some of the commands or if you type exclamation point info it'll pop up how you can earn crits exclamation point crits will show you how many crits you've earned over watching us you earn two uh one crit every five minutes of watching us live and hanging out with us um you can then spend those crits for rewards the only reward that currently exists is if you spend 20 crits uh you get to do make us do 10 push-ups 
<laughs> we should do that. We'll get really I, didn't, I, did, I didn't agree to this, but okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our room's not big enough to do push-ups in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're all agreed in this that uh, we all have no physical injuries, um, but you can check your crits there. You can also gamble with them. You can exclamation point gamble space however many crits you actually have. Most people are just starting to earn them. So if you've been watching before, if you go to revlo.co, you've actually backlogged a little bit. So check it out. And if you guys have any ideas, there's ways to submit reward ideas, and we'll do giveaways and stuff like that. So I don't want to get too into it too much, but yeah, enjoy it, guys. Have fun with it. Um, enjoy your crits, and we'll try to do more with it as the stream continues. Sound good? You guys, uh, you know what? Yeah. And because, because we're good here, I think I can do something cool. I'm oh, going to bonus give yeah. everyone... <laughs> Nice. 20? If I do this, <laughs> nice. does this work? Provide nice. bonus crits to your... Nope. Does, does everyone see Revlobot telling me how to do stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like, Absolutely. actually. <laughs> Absolutely. Bonus all? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you know what? Screw you, Revlobot. This is my <laughs> channel. God, what a... Oh, all isn't in my channel. Everyone is in my channel. <laughs> Every... <laughs> I have to look up commands. <laughs> you know, all right, whatever. Let's let's just do a quick translate and then let's play some games because this is getting ridiculous. Okay. Let's do a quick translate here. Jouer au jeu de société est rad. Which means <laughs> playing board games is rad. So you should check them out. <laughs> That's great. I assume you guys knew that. But you know, yeah. yeah. If it's So, enjoy. I'll I was trying to give you bit, but... yeah. yeah. It takes me home. It takes me home. <laughs> Back east, where Canada originated. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get into the game. Guys. We're playing. Originated the east. <laughs> yeah, did it? <laughs> east of here? I guess it is. Yeah. 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 Where did it originate? It, it was the French, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was like all that area. Yeah I, yeah. I don't know anything about Canadian history, even though they taught it for three years in our in school. The one thing I did know about Canadian history is that you guys rode bikes into World War II. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can believe that. Yeah, yeah. That you guys came right. on bikes. You that's literally so rode so bikes. Green, you know, we're here's us with a you know, oh, so progressive into the ocean, like da, 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 like <laughs> saving Private Ryan. And <laughs> no, no one's gonna shoot the guy on the bike. They think they're just bringing <laughs> milk or something, and then yeah. it's just like, just kidding, you know. And then <laughs> yeah, they win. There's probably something yeah. really wrong there, but whatever. But so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome. All right, let's get into this game, guys. We're playing Mission C60. It's an extra mission. You can find it at Zombicide.com. It's called Ambush. We picked it to have some fun with these guys. Um, there, Mike's played before. You're completely new to the game, right, Justin? I am, yeah. So this gives us opportunities to talk about things. If you guys have any strat talk and chat, you want to throw our way, whatever, you guys, uh, Justin, Mike, it's your life, man. You do what you do. Have fun with the game. That's what we're here to do. We're not power gaming this, but the guys in chat will make sure we do things right. Because uh, we got a good QC team, so don't feel bad when uh, you get yelled at for, you know, shooting the wrong zombie or or walk, moving when you should not. You know, it's all, it's all fun. It's yeah. part of the it's part of the fun. Yeah, yeah, it's good. They bash you. It's gonna make you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. It's just, you're just gonna feel bad about yourself. <laughs> no, it's great. I love our community. The best camp on Twitch. Let's get into this mission. What do you say? Boom! Mission C60 ambush. A mission by Claudio Guillermo. We've been running, hiding for weeks. Oh, I should have typed this all in and then, wrote and then had it translate in French. I, I missed, it. <laughs> missed the opportunity. All right, it says, we've been running and hiding for weeks. At last, we found a quiet place. Let's get a look around and put up a shelter here, at least for a <laughs> night or two. There are only a few zombies to take care of. But what a stench. What a stench. <laughs> there must be something going on, but I'm too hungry to think straight. Let's go. How, how many accents did you go through <laughs> reading the flavor text? Well, it, it was kind of French, and then I pretty yeah. much went, I think, German. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Well, in, the, in the beginning, in the beginning, I thought it was Peter Baelish, but but then you <laughs> you, went, you went into a different direction. Jake Sims says I was fluctuating between French and Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. I heard four. Everyone, yeah, throw in your votes. Uh, that'll be a reward. You guess how many... <laughs> Guess how many accents I will uh, I will say, and then uh, you'll get 20, 20 crits if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Lyle, All right. describe this mission to us and let us know uh, what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so we are starting on this map in the upper uh, upper right corner on that blue tile. 
And basically what we have to do is we have to take all the red X objectives and then we have to reach the exit with all the survivors all the way at the bottom. So what we do is we have to get in there um, and pick up the red objectives. Whoever picks up the an objective gets five XP. Um, hidden amongst the red objectives will be a pink uh, X and a blue X. When we pick up the blue X, uh, the blue spawn point at the bottom right will activate. And it, it is the key for the blue door down at the bottom right as well. Um, the pink X uh, activates the pink spawn point at the bottom. Um, I'm sorry, the, the blue is in the bottom right, the pink is in the bottom left. Um, actually, so, can, I, can I correct you on that? Oh, sure. The pink X actually does nothing. <laughs> I, I had to look oh, this up because I was like, why would we pick it up if we already have the blue X? Um, no, I should have interjected this you earlier. Have to pick up, you have to pick up all the objectives. Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah. I think, so. so you think it actually activates it? It must, Yeah, right? you have, yeah. The, the, pink, okay. the pink X activates the pink spawn, I think. Oh, but let me interject, though. Let me interject oh, one okay. thing, because I had to look this up. It's kind of weird. And I was thinking... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, the, the pink X, uh, the pink spawn is the only one that is active in the beginning. Right, so that's what it is. The, the thing that's a little different about this mission right now is usually at the end of the player's phase, there's the zombie phase, and the red spawn points that are around the map labeled 1, right. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's when we usually spawn zombies there. Um, when we start off this mission, the pink spawn zone is the only active spawn zone. Uh, once we pick up the, our first red objective, then the rest of the spawns will start to spawn, except for the blue. The blue only will spawn if we pick up the blue X. Correct. That's how that works. So the pink objective is the only one active at the beginning of the game. Yep. Um, so the reason they kept it pink, and I had to look this up, so like, why would, why would they even make it pink, right? Was originally this map looked different. So if you got the original version of this offline, because this came out uh, last year, I believe, it was messed up because the pink X was actually something you had to find or something like that. And the problem was, if that where that pink X is, if it was the blue X, you were dicked. You would never be able to get yeah, into the Yeah, the door. mission yeah. was broken. So yeah. they fixed it by making that X pink and making the pink spawn pink and just kept it that way so that pink X can never be the blue X. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, so the, the, out of those five Xs, that's where you'll find the blue X. The blue X will never be under that pink X, I guess is what they were yep. trying to say. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, carry so on. Let's, let's, yeah, yep, so let me, let me just cliff note it all together. We start in the top right. We have to pick up every single X available. Um, and once we pick up an X, those red spawns will spawn. Once we pick up the blue X, it opens. we can open the blue door and get that last one. And then we have to exit with everybody without dying. Yeah, that's pretty cool. much it. That's pretty much uh, get all this stuff and survive. Uh, uh, what is it? Spectral Flame is saying the incoming section says nothing about the pink X. Let me scroll, scroll up. Infested Building says the pink spawn zone is the only spawn zone active when the game starts. Just so everyone in chat can see the special rules up there. Uh, makes it a little bit clearer. Sorry. Um, but yeah, <laughs> JXM says it seems reasonably difficult. This is why I picked it for these guys. Because it says it's easy uh, in 90 minutes, but it's Crit Camp, so it's not. <laughs> and we're not just playing with Season 3 materials. We play with Season 1, Season 2, uh, pris uh, Prison Outbreak. We play with Toxic City Mall and Season 3. So lots of possibilities, lots of gear, lots of zombie choices, lots of fun. Hell yeah. YOLO rag. Um <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Any strat you want to talk about? I can show the board full. Um, I got to find your minis. <laughs> but there's the board I, full. I, um, I imagine we don't want the first person to, like, we don't want someone to grab uh, a red X before everyone is, like, you know, just not in the street near the, the zombie spawns. Because that seems bad, right? Yeah. From what well, I, I gather. Think there's, there's, we have six characters. So if we were all, if or at least four people were near each of the red axes, if we all pick it up the same, sorry, same turn, right? Instead of picking up one one turn, we'd pick up four in one turn. Yep, I agree with that. Because once you pick up the first one, all the spawns activate, so you might as well pick them all yeah. up at the same time. Sure. And you might as well level up all of our characters around the same time, too. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, so that that gives us that gives us a little time in the beginning to get into position. 
and also do some searching in those rooms so we can get equipped with weapons. Yeah, Dragon Cat says there's lots of ways to shed undead or die trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Okay, let's get over to our character choice screen uh, where I've totally lost. This is going well. This is going well. Let me we, uh, welcome, welcome to Crit Camp where we deal with air server. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Dissolve. Oh, no. They couldn't even tell. Yay. So <laughs> we're going to be starting off with who we're going with, guys. And I'm going all Canada tonight. As much Canada as I can. Not only my Canadian not Canadian beer that has three levels away from Canada, but I'm, I'm wearing my Keanu Reeves shirt. So I've got Keanu Reeves. Whoa. Right? Whoa. I've got... <laughs> I've got a. Uh, oh, I'm playing as Mike Myers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Wait, is Keanu Reeves Canadian? Yeah. I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, yeah. Can oh, you, and, and my wife and was uh, saying that he's also Asian in some descent. The, you know, the more the more you know, right? Yeah, and he's also a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> because he never ages. <laughs> no, he's also he's also John Wick. He's also John Wick. That's true. <laughs> so I'm actually going as... I'm going to play as Thiago in this game. I don't think we've used... Oh, yeah, we've used him once before. I forget when, but... The reason I'm using him, Reaper Melee. Now, the cool thing about Reaper Melee is that when you use this skill, you get to take away... When you kill a melee... When I melee a zombie, I get to take another one of the same kind away, so I get two for one for every shot. Nice. Pretty cool. I figure we're going to be in close quarters nice. for some of this. I can clear some zones and get lucky. Um, nice. Yeah, so I'm going with, yeah, baby, going with Thiago. And then, Lyle, you're going with OG Amy. I'm going with OG Amy. I know Daph is going to be pumped about this. Um, yeah, she just does work. She's, an, she's like from the original, original set, but she just is awesome. I think uh, having that free move action in the beginning is really helpful. Yeah. And by the end of the game, she always has like a million actions, which is always great. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Going with the Goth Amy, and just so everyone knows, like I'm only playing with we need six because we didn't want to add any more stuff or do anything like that. We could play with eight and add another spawn zone. This game you can play up to like twelve plus people at a time, but it makes it like ridiculous because with every odd even number you have to add another spawn zone, and it just gets ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, it gets crazy. <laughs> so uh, Lyle will be playing two guys, Bear. Yeah, I'm, I'm also playing Bear um, because uh, he has that shove ability in uh, blue. Which means if I'm in the same zone as a zombie or a bunch of zombies, I can, for free, once, once a turn, I can push all of those zombies to an adjacent tile. So it's sort of like a, a save mechanic, or we can sort of set up some kills or something that way. Uh, I also picked him because he looked like a, uh, a lumberjack. Yep. Yeah, was. <laughs> True Canadian. True Canadian, yeah. eh? There you go. Hey, good choice, eh? There we go. All right, Justin. You're going with Don, the civil servant. Why? What? What? What did you? What intrigued you about Don, the civil servant? Uh, he looks like something I'd, someone I'd buy insurance from, so I trusted him that he would keep me safe in the zombie apocalypse. So nice. date farm, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Don gets born leader. Just so everyone knows, uh, born leader has the survivor's turn. He may give one free action to his survivor of his choice uh, as he pleases. And if, if everyone's seen this stream before and hung out with the camp, we forget to do this a lot. Because we get into the game and we start moving real quick, it's a free action, so it doesn't even count as one of your three original actions. Um, so, Justin, just remember that I'm going to use this Hearthstone coin, and we'll put it yeah. under the character of your choice. You just can't give it to yourself. Okay, sounds good. Um, if we don't use it, it gets lost. Okay. Yeah. So we can't like oh. forget that you didn't give it away, and then be like, "Oh, what?" But <laughs> I'll carve it on my arm so I remember. Yes, and chat <laughs> will also feel free to yell at us and do it up, do it up. John John Wick is appalled you didn't know he was Canadian. <laughs> Says oh, OZ Brad. God. I know, dude. Oh, That's man. Rough. All right. And then look at this, Lyle. Justin's using James. Yo. Back of boy. What, what, what drew you to James, Justin? Um, this looks like a guy who would kill me, which went really well with my life insurance plan. So it's kind of just going with the motif <laughs> of this. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, and James gets one max. Well, he has fast roping, which has to do with season three. He's coming in and out of helicopters. But you get plus one to your max range. So you'll be our range shooter if you need. Yeah, I'll stand at the door and just yeah. shoot people. Yeah, man. Yeah. Totally. So plus one max range. James McAvoy, what, what? Wanted. <laughs> Are you guys Wanted fans, by the way? Yeah, Sam, he curves the bullet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. He curves it well. Okay, yeah, you can he, stay. He curves it well. You yeah. can stay. <laughs> you can stay and hang out with the camp. <laughs> All right. Mikey, 
You're going with Crazy Ned. Crazy Ned. What drew you to Crazy Ned? Sorry, I'm digging through a thousand minis right now, trying to find. Uh... <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, he has a great starting action. Uh, one, I get a free search action, so it get, makes great for starting off and getting a lot of equipment. Um, also, because he's Crazy Ned, he, and he has look. a watchman. He has the watchman button as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, he does. Yeah, Ned is another OG character from uh, from the very, very uh, beginning base set. So we're playing yes. with two OG characters, Ned and Amy. Yeah, Ned Crazy. and Amy. And then uh, oh, if anyone's wondering, you get Thiago from the VIP game night. Or not VIP, just the game night kit. So uh, he's a hard one to get. And I believe Don is also like a game night uh, original type dude. Which I'm realizing I don't have Don. <laughs> I have McAvoy, of course. <laughs> but I don't have Don's mini. So I also don't have Thiago's mini. So I'm using uh, alternatives. <laughs> so, uh, what do we use for Dawn? Uh, let's go with the. Uh... Boom. Dawn, because he's that color, you've got a big gun. Nice, nice. Boom. Okay, we're just respect out. All right, guys, so let's start the game up. If anyone has any questions in chat, always shoot them off. We have an awesome QC team here. Big fans of Zombicide and that kind of thing. We use the Zombicide app. It's oh. a lot of fun. And we'll do our best to answer your questions, too. Um,. Oh, and it's from kit number five, says Eric the Great. I got the game night ones for free. They are fairly cheap. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have them yet. I need to get it. And OC Brad says he's got 99% of it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Dawn, I think, is pretty hard to get. But if you get them, let us know. So here we go. So when the game starts, it randomly distributes out um, three of the base weapons uh, you start the game with. Um, so we'll see what we got distributed. So Thiago, I got a bow. Amy got a cross cross crossbar, a crossbar. <laughs> Bear got a flare axe. Nice. <laughs> Don got a crowbar. James got a fire axe. Ned gets a crowbar. Okay. So, um, just so we know, strat wise, you need certain weapons to open doors. Like a crowbar can open a door. If you guys ever want to see something closer, just let me know. I can. I've got this double tap. I can bring it up so you guys can see. Um, yeah. So we can actually choose who we want to start the game. Um, Thiago having a bow. Maybe we don't want him to start this round. Um, it's up to yeah, you guys. I can, I can start since I have, a, I have a crowbar. I can open the door. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Okay, so I'm going to do yep. a quick... Uh, we have to manipulate the app. Just manipulate this so that Amy is starting. Boom. And just ignore all the words flying across the screen ignore, uh, as we get ready to jump into the game, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for your first yes. oh. Zombicide? <laughs> I'm ready to rock. Oh, he's I'm, I'm ready. scared. I'm scared, but I'm ready to rock. They're ready to rock. They're a little scared. It's okay to be scared. I'm getting a kind of lagginess. Okay. <laughs> We've got too much stuff happening. Here we go. Let's get it to the zombicide. Ah! Ah! 